Hello everyone. Welcome to Billy Holman Creations. This is Billy. Um, I had a subscriber ask me not too long ago if I was going to try another goldfish in the bag. And for those of you who watched that video, uh, it was a total... <laughs> you couldn't even see the fish. I just got carried away, didn't take my time, and it was pretty much uh, a big fail. So I'm going to try it again today. I've got my bag mold. I've got my little goldfish. Now, I've gotten these little goldfish in a package of like 50 off of Amazon. Um, the first thing I need to do is I want to glue his tail a little bit to the side so um, he's not, you know, so close to the outside of the mold here. So I want to glue him just so he'll uh, fit in there better. So first thing I'm going to do, oops, I just saw a piece of plastic here. I'm going to get that off. It's kind of bothering me. Now I've been playing around all morning and I have uh, Gorilla Glue all over my fingertips. So what's a little more? I'm going to take a little bit of this Gorilla Super Glue Gel, which I uh, haven't used before but it seems to work pretty good. And I'm just gonna dab a little on this hinge here and get this goldfish, get his tail at a little bit of a different angle. So say like just a little bend in it. Whoops, not that much, not that much. Might have to hold it a little bit. There's a toothpick, let's get that right in the hinge there. And we're going to paint him. We're going to paint him red. He's going to be a red fish. There we go. Maybe that'll stay. So I'm going to use my tester's uh, red paint. So I'm sure one coat will cover this fish pretty well. So let me set that there. Get that to hold. And... I would have started this yesterday, but I couldn't find my little hearts. Found my little hearts. Now, this is a pack of stickers, and they're foam stickers. You get you get red, silver, and pink, and you know, full sheets like this in one little package. And I cannot remember where I've got these, but I'm sure you can find them pretty much anywhere, or any little hearts will do. So then I dug out my plastic greenery. I like this one, I was gonna use it, but apparently it's been painted and the paint's coming off. So we're ictioning that. So I grabbed a few pieces, and let me move this little guy. What I was doing, is adding these little hearts to the greenery because I'm not going to pack it full like I did last time which was pretty ridiculous I got carried away I think this little branch will have to be cut off but what I did is and I started it here I'm gonna do some silver ones is get my silver stickers here here's one open and I just cut the tip of this last leaf at the end off. Just cut that off a little bit. Took a sticker. Now I want to make sure I have the right sizes here. I think it was one of these. And I'm just going to stick it on that little cut piece like that. Now, what I did to reinforce it and make sure, you know, bubbles don't get in is, I have to open another package. There's different sizes in here. I want to be sure to get the right sizes. So, anyway. Took a little bit of this Gorilla Glue 
put a little bit inside here. Spread with a toothpick so it's not oozing out. Take the same size. So matter so matter it doesn't matter which side you're looking at, you'll see a sticker on both sides. So I'm just gonna line that up best I can and squeeze that together. So now I've got a sticker on both sides. So let me go ahead and finish this one. I'm oozing out of there. Where's my lid? And of course, this is an experiment again. I have it in my head, but I just have to be very careful that I don't get carried away and cram that little bag full. There we go, here's number two. Oops, get that squeezed in. So it didn't get didn't do very well there. This is why I have glue all over my fingers. And there's some right there. Let's get that off of there. In there. And that doesn't come off easily. I ended up taking acetate, trying to get this off my fingers, but to hold that one for a second too. And if I, there's no way I could have done this with gloves on. I know that. Squeeze it, squeeze it shut. And hopefully that'll prevent resin from going in there and separating it. Okay, yep. one more. Oh, look at this. Here we go. Now, I used all of that one over here. So anyway, I was gonna have little silver and red heart plants on the inside and have this a bit of a Valentine's theme. And I'm not going to color the resin at all. We're going to have clear resin. Get that on. Spread this around a little bit. Find another one the same size and stick it on there. So that's how I was preparing those. And then on the red one, I went ahead and did little ones, smaller sizes there. So, oh, come on, get in there. I didn't cut that leaf, did I? That's why. Got a bump in there. Well, shoot. A little more glue in it. If I can get it in there. All right. Now, squeeze. Hopefully that'll hold. And I'll probably put a few more little ones on the side, but you don't need to watch me do that. Oh my goodness, thank goodness the husband was home. I have to remember to clean these lids before I put them away. This one he got open too, and it, I think, bent the lid. <laughs> oh well, that's how she goes. I'm just going to hold on to a little fin here and take my testers and Paint this bugger red. That'll cover nicely. I do love Tester's paint. Um, this is some my father had. Being the artist he was, 
I remember using it when I was a kid doing models. I love doing models. Well, it was just me and nine boys in my neighborhood. So, I joined in and we did model airplanes and cars. Put all that work into it and then next thing you know, <laughs> We take a lighter and hairspray to them and just blow them up. That's what we did for fun. A little paint job. I'll let this dry and then paint little eyes, but I want this one to be red. I tried to paint a little hard on it, but it's got little textured scales on there, so I don't think I could do a very good job that way. I can do the tail without bending it again. Now this is a, a latex paint, so you have to use paint uh, acetone or paint thinner to clean your brushes. I have a little can, little bottle here with, I keep acetone in it. Oh, it was cold today. Woke up three degrees here in Idaho this morning. I know it's colder elsewhere, but that was cold enough for me. And we heat the house with wood wood heat, you know, the wood stove, and boy, that's not cutting it here lately. I've got a little electric heater as we speak going on in this room. That's pretty red. Will it clash with our hearts? Or stand out pretty good? Let's see. Oh, that'd be pretty. Okay, I'll let him dry. I'm going to go ahead and finish uh, putting a little more silver hearts on that one little plant and uh, we'll take it from there and I'll be right with you. Well I got my little valentine sprigs done so I'm just going to add a little black to the fish's eyes. A little black acrylic and I'm just going to take my little pointer tool and brighten those up a little bit then we'll add white to them when that dries just brighten that up it was a bit dull that's all we need there okay Okay, the black I believe is dry enough to put a little white on the little red fish's eyes. So I'm going to take a smaller tip, one of these pointy tools, and just give that a little dot of white because When you do eyes, you need a little bit of white to give it life. See the difference? Life versus no life. So just a tad, a little tad of paint. Try to get them in the same places. There we go, just like that. So he is almost ready to go. I'm gonna put him aside. Get rid of this glue, don't need that. Don't need my paint. Now, I've got my hot glue gun going. It might take a second, but what I wanna do is join these Briggs back to back and I think that way they'll be easier to get into 
the mold. That's my thoughts. So let me see if this is warm enough. Probably not quite, but we'll see. Oh, we can do it. So I'm just going to take a line of glue here. Stand up there, buddy. And go back, ouch, to back. And kind of get them the same height just to hold and I was too late try again might not be hot enough there we go just to hold together Like that. The extra pieces off of there. I'm gonna do the same thing down at the bottom. Just that and pinch them together there so we can just take one try to get those in the mold this is not holding very well I just got most of the gorilla glue off my fingers that's why I thought oh let's just try the glue gun right there. I think I've got it. But I do want you to know I use my PPE. I have my mask. I'll get my gloves on and when I do stir my resin I stir it for four minutes at least four minutes. Any resin I use at least four minutes and um, then I choose to remove the mask so I can talk to you. I just wanted you to know that, that uh, it is important to me to wear your your safety gear and I do so I'll be right back and let's see if we can make this one work well I did it I made the resin up but I did go a cup and a quarter because I thought what the heck we'll give it a deep bore test I mean I did 100 milligrams of the resin and 200 milligrams of the hardener and it is thin and it is clear and it does take up to 72 hours to cure so um i'm going to need those few days so this will be ready for this week all right got my mold i am first of all going to take this piece of wire and wrap these flowers because I don't want them to go all the way to the bottom and hopefully we can cut that off when we have to and I just wired my glove to it hmm. all right there we go that's wired together while my glue gun was hot I took some fishing line and I just glued a daub on the belly of the fish so I can drop him in where I want him. Then I'm going to get a popsicle stick to lay across the mold if I need to. So I'm going to go ahead and let's get these in first and we'll just pour around them because I don't want to go all the way down. But I do want room for my fish so I had a skewer here or a dowel and I'm just gonna make sure 
the tip of the hearts are down towards the top that looks good the others are where they want to be apparently and I'm gonna hold this to the light a second and see how far up okay one rose is bent over let me move that branch that should be fine I'm gonna leave a little room at the top or which will be the bottom I'm just looking in the light so I can maybe put some seashells or moss or something at the bottom look through the light again I think if I hold that right about there I should still have room for the fish so Spread them around a little bit. He'll probably go into that side. And I'm just gonna hold her steady right there and we'll pour. Wait my stick off. Why this mixes nicely, it's just like water. All right, I'm gonna raise you up a little bit so I don't bump you. There we go. And see how much this gives us. I had a little booklet with my notes, of course, that told me how much resin went into the molds as I, as I used them. Bubbles look cool, huh? Sure, they'll come up quickly. I need a little more space for some grounding, and I don't know. I thought I had a pointy skewer here. It's rather short. Bubbles. We're in the water, it shouldn't matter. I thought about putting some May Spring, um, oh, what is it? Dazzling Diamond in here. But I didn't want it to just go straight down. Let me get my heat gun on that for a second. Pardon the noise. Let me look again, make sure it's not floating. Oh, perfect right there. All right. Now, I'm going to grab, it should fit in this cup, just bring her in here, like that, keep her a little stabilized, all right, a little fishy, here you go, don't come off the string, it's on there pretty taut. Tail's gonna be tangled. I should have went this way. Let's try that. I want him kind of level, not like he's. God, if he would just stay there, that would be great. Maybe I can lodge him sort of, that he'll stay there. Gotta look in the light again. Oh, here we go. Be right back. No, he wants to come up. How am I gonna keep that bugger down? It needs to be down like there. No, I'm not sure. No, I wish I wouldn't have glued those plants together, but let me get him as far down as I can. Let 
might have to leave that stick in there until I can pull it out so he doesn't float. I think I've got him right side up. Be a bummer if it was an upside down fish, right? When you demolded like he was dead. It's a terrible thought, Billy. Okay, I'm gonna hold him. Leave that stick right there. And put a little more resin in since I have it. And it'll still give us room for a bit of a bottom. All right. I'm going to call that good. So, I will keep an eye on this. Try to work on the bubbles. Make sure our little fishy doesn't uh, float up. I hope we can see his face amongst those plants. Can't see his eyes. It's like he's going into the... Where is his face? That's his tail. Oh no, he's good. He's facing the right direction. All right. He stays put there. Okay. Okay. Huh. Catch you in a little while. See you in a couple days. Cross your fingers for me. Or I'll be back sooner if that gets tacky and we can put the like shells and stuff on the bottom there so take good care everybody thanks for watching we'll talk to you soon bye well hello I'm back this has been sitting now for two days and I think I'm gonna be a little disappointed because the fish and the florals sunk a little farther than I was hoping they would and I don't know if you can see on camera here um, see if I can kind of show you everything is down here which is going to be the top which means I have a big gap here of clear resin except for a little bit of the greenery. I don't know how well that's going to show up. And I'm not sure even if I put a flashlight under that. Let me turn it on. Flashlight's about... No, that's not going to tell us anything. But anyway, I'm going to have a gap. So... The only thing I can think of to do is since I have, this is about three quarters of an inch to where the resin stopped or filled. So I'm gonna take advantage of that little area and put greenery in it uh, using some reindeer moss. So first of all, I'm gonna cut this line to the fish that's invisible Let's see that and the wire here I only did I say that already I only made an ounce of resin I'm gonna get rid of this oh, I'm gonna have to need I don't know there we go just up to the wire to where the wire was twisted get rid of that so I've got a little sticking out there and I use the uh, Naked Fusion Diamond Clarity Resin because I don't want to wait another four days for the, you know, the deep pour resin or three days or two days or whatever it's been to uh, settle because this is Thursday already. So let me put you on pause. I'm going to take my heat gun to this resin because it's pretty bubbly. The temperature of my room has been fluctuating. When I'm home, it's warm because I have the heater on. When I'm not warm, the heater's off. So cross your fingers. Um, I'll be right back. Let me just pause you for a second. Okay.
you know I don't like the sound of the heat gun in my videos there's still a lot of bubbles um, and the resin was cold so guess and by oh, golly we're just gonna I'm just gonna pour the sounds in and see how far up we come I do want to leave about a quarter of an inch for um, the bottom because I'm going to put some things on the bottom so this might work out just fine I couldn't heat this cup up very very long with the heat gun because it's just a pudding cup you scrape that out as long as I still have room for some sand or whatnot in here get this out yeah I'm a little disappointed but maybe the next try at a fish will work better I won't give up hope yet I'm gonna take my uh, torch to this real quick Whoa, excuse me I'm gonna bugger up this mold all right let's just get some moss now I got this colored moss it's pinks from um, Michaels pinks and little browns I did grab a piece of green which came in another um, container so ooh, we're gonna have bubbles galore we are gonna have bubbles galore but where's that stem okay there's the stem I hope this doesn't raise to the top or I'll have to take some out. This this moss is like rubber. Kind of has a rubbery substance or feel to it. Maybe I should have soaked it first. Just, I need some kind of greenery down here. Just look at the bubbles. Oh my gosh. Hopefully that'll clear up. I have a seashell I want to put in, but I'm going to have to wait. Uh, or else it'll just sink right down too. I don't want that. So let me grab a little of this. Should we do the pink or the pinkish red? Maybe a little bit of this dark pink. Um, I want to save room for that seashell, so let me just put a little to the side here. And if I do too much, I won't see the the bottom very well. I just need some green. Oh, that bothered me. I was bound out to see that, but what do you do, eh? We'll just go with it. If I just put a little right here. I thought I'd fill you in as to what is going on. Maybe I can pull that around. Oh, there we go. We'll just leave a gap in the middle or close to the middle for that shell oh, maybe that'll help then the rest we can do our bottom pieces so I'm hoping by morning it's 10 o'clock now in the evening I'm hoping by morning I should be able to finish the bottom and possibly demold tomorrow evening so cross your fingers um, here's a here's a little shell I'm talking about. Um, oh, it's about a little bigger than a nickel, and I I already glued the little pearl in, so that's what I want to have sitting in this blank spot, and then we'll have the bottom pieces. I might have got too much green here. Let's see if I can split that a little bit. See if I can just make more bubbles while we're at it, eh? Heck, why not? Mm, I guess it's not going to stretch for me. I should have thought about that earlier. 
Okay. That's it, everybody. I just had to show you that little tidbit. Come morning, we'll top it off. And uh, wishing you a great night, uh, sweet dreams, and um, take good care. See you in the morning. Bye. Hi, everyone. Let's get ready to uh, finish this off. I know I'm going to be disappointed. I've thought about that most of the evening last night, about having such a clear gap. And the resin I poured yesterday is a pretty bubbly. Um, yeah, I didn't warm it up. It was cold, so another lesson learned. Should have known better. But I mixed up two ounces. I'll probably have a little extra, but I can find something to put that in. And I need a paper towel on the side. First thing here is let's get this little pearl and I was lucky enough to have a space for it, although it's going to look murky under there. But I'm going to go ahead and dip it in my resin first. Just get it coated. Maybe get a scoop in there and hope it doesn't bubble, which it may underneath. But there is a hole there. I'm just going to place that in like that. Let me turn it so I can see that hole. And maybe carefully just get a little in there and hopefully if there's a bubble it'll come out. But I want to have that. Well, it's not going to set flat because of the pearl, but I want to have that about there. Then, what I do have also is this decorative filler that I did get from um, Michael's, but I found it a little less expensive online, so I will have a link in my Amazon storefront. So, having a spoon handy like I normally try to, these are red. Can you see me? I better get over here. These are red, and I thought, well, we'll just put red in the bottom. with some resin and the pearl and we will call that good I'm not going to see all the red because of that greenery that's in the way but let me just see I'm sure we'll have a lot of bubbles I maybe should have mixed it in the resin Ooh, but of course I didn't all right, let's just see how full we can get this. And I should have, I should have slowed down and took my time and moved that shell around. But let's see. I'm sure there'll be bubbles. We'll just mix it up as we go here. Yes, next time, mix the stones in the resin. They say the third time's a charm. <clears throat> this is only the second try, but I'll do it again at a later date and maybe no better than to let everything go down so far. Pretty color though, isn't it? I think so. little bubbles on the side. Just kind of work them out a little bit. Okay. That's about all I can do for right now. And I'll watch for bubbles and hit them with the alcohol if need be. So let's fill this up. Then next week we'll go on to something new. I think I'm about done with Valentine's for now. All right, there we have it. Just get under that rim a little bit. OK, 
Okay, good morning everyone. The moment of truth has arrived. Let's see um, how this turned out, knowing that everything has shifted more or less to uh, the top of the bag. If I can just get a start here. I remember wrestling this on the first one I tried. So, I'm going to put a little isopropyl alcohol in this mold and that helps loosen these up. The hardest part was the top of the bag. Look at that. That just releases nicely. Get some more down into the very bottom, I think. Okay. Get down in there. See how far we can get. And dun dun da da. Stones look pretty. Oh, maybe. It might not be as bad as I thought. Oh, gee, it is. Well, he flipped. He flipped. Now, this is a hard part right in here. This is where I need to... Oh, yeah, he went sideways on me. You might notice a little glitter. I did put some um, May Spring... Uh, maze, uh, what is it called? Uh, dazzling diamond in there a little bit. But in theory, the hearts turned out nice. Okay. Now, yeah. see, he's sideways, so if I stand him up, well, I guess he's going for air. Uh, you know, if I could, if you just laid it down, it'd be okay. Hmm. Anywhere, anywhere, anyway. Maybe I should try again. I might do it this week. I might try again. But anyway, the hearts stayed in place. So, and I guess I didn't have to go this deep on the edge of the bag. So that's something I didn't know. Um, I don't think we can even see the pearl in there. Nope. We'll do it differently, but there's the idea for you. Try to do this if you want and let me know how yours turns out. So I'll say thank you. Have a great day. Take good care, everyone. And we'll see you in the next video. Bye.